Now, truth be told, I've actually never done a Nuzlocke before. So usually when it comes to Pokemon games, I normally just lean towards breaking the game and not my sanity. But you know what? What better time to experience the hardships of pain, death, and suffering than to not only play by the standard Nuzlocke rules, but with a twist. In this run, I was only allowed to catch shiny Pokemon. This alone raises the stakes significantly. I mean, if I was just to lose one of my Pokemon that I spent hundreds of hours getting, it would be like losing a kidney. So technically, I could lose one, but any more than that would be basically game over. Which means I needed to do the impossible. I had to use my brain and not f*** up a single time. God help me. Now, when it came to the starters, this was actually pretty important. I didn't want to make the wrong choice and potentially waste all my time because I couldn't make it past the first gym. So, with that in mind, I went with Bulbasaur. And look, that's not because Charmander or Squirtle are bad. In fact, Charmander is like one of the only good fire types in the entire game. Now, yes, I know there's only like, what, six? But out of those six, he's pretty good. Too bad he's weak to rock and water. And you know, it's not like there is two early unavoidable hurdles that possess those exact attributes. Now, as for Squirtle, he's also very good, but so are all these Pokemon. So I like this, but this is just a little bit better. Now, even though I picked Bulbasaur because he's good against the first two gyms, that doesn't mean he's all sunshine and rainbows. His moveset is nothing short of comedic. Get this, the most damaging grass type move that Bulbasaur can learn that isn't a crappy charge up move is this. Oh, and it doesn't end just there. Are you ready for the encore? Bulbasaur doesn't learn a single damaging poison move from leveling up. And this is the only damaging TM that he can learn. And you can only get it after beating the league. Why? Now, since this is a shiny only run, I got to experience the small highs and bedrock lows that come with it. As I had to keep resetting over and over, a few thousand times. See, since this is Gen 3, I only had like a, what, 1 in 8,192% chance of getting a shiny Bulbasaur. Plus, to add insult to injury, I could only check if it was shiny after I named it and viewed it in the menu. Though I did have one saving grace, I did technically have the trusty speed up button, so that lowered it from months to weeks. Yes! Oh man, I was like two steps away from clicking reset. Holy, that would have been terrible. Finally. Whew, all right. Got our shiny bubble saw. It took a while. All right, so the real question is, will I win this fight? I know the challenge doesn't technically start yet, but you know what? If we win it, it's good luck. If we lose this fight, it's gonna be bad luck and honestly, I don't need bad luck because this is just this. I mean, this challenge is going to take forever. I bet he will hit a crit or something. Don't crit me. Oh, this should be it. Oh, maybe not. Don't crit. Yeah. Yes. Oh, well. It's going to be good luck because I'll need it. Because, oh, man. This is going to take, like, like, literally, this could take months. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Now, it didn't take me long to receive my Pokédex and level my Bulbasaur to a respectable amount, but it was time that I got myself a second Pokémon. Now, in a normal Nuzlocke, for a normal person, you would collect the first Pokémon in each area. And there are a lot of incentives to do so. It gives you a lot of options in survivability, especially if you lose a Pokémon in battle. But since I can only catch Shinies, that makes things a little bit more difficult. See, since it takes literal days, two weeks, to find a single shiny, I had to be a lot more selective because I wasn't about to spend the next three years collecting them all. So I had three choices of where I wanted to collect my second Pokemon, Route 1, 22, and Viridian Forest. Now personally, I chose against the forest because I only really had bugs and I wanted a little bit more diversity than a bug and grass team. Also, the chance of me finding a shiny Pikachu was basically non-existent so personally, I wasn't ready to disappoint myself so early on. So that meant it was between these two. Now the deciding factor that I landed on was to pick whichever one gave me the highest percent chance of catching a Pokemon 
that could learn fly. Because look, there is a future out there where I never find a Pokemon that can learn it, and the idea of running back and forth across the map gave me heart palpitations. Oh, of course, it had to be the rat. It was a 50-50. Oh man, I would have personally liked the Pidgey for fly, but whatever, we'll take it. See if it goes in the ball. It should. Uh, whatever. It's something. Uh, oh man, it's like debatably like one of the worst Pokemon, but I mean, it's not terrible. I did need another Pokemon. You know what? It's not the most androgynous name in the world, but I'm gonna name it Lyle because it was the first name that came to mind when I thought of a large screaming rat. Now, some may say that I encountered the worst possible option, to which I would say this. You are correct. But the rat does have two things going for it. Hyper Fang, which is pretty damn good, but more importantly, guts. Now, if you don't know how it works, think of it like, uh, steroids. At the cost of numerous health conditions, you get a strength increase. Trust me when I say this, don't sleep on it. The Roid Rage is surprisingly good. And when it came to Brock, it was a sweep, which wasn't a surprise. I mean, this was the reason I picked Bulbasaur. In fact, it's probably the only reason anyone picks him. Also, it did kind of help that Onyx has less physical damage than an Oddish. So, yeah. But after collecting my first badge and clearing my way to Mount Moon, it was very tempting to catch a Zubat. And it wasn't because I was super desperate and wanted a Pokemon that could fly. Well, I mean, I was, but let me say this. Crobat is pretty damn amazing. It's got that high damage and lightning speed. Too bad Leaf Green and Fire Reds are the only games since its introduction where you need the national decks to get it. So that just straight up blows. But whatever, it's not all bad. I did manage to evolve my Bulbasaur, collect the fossil, and make my way to Cerulean City. Now after I healed, I headed straight for the gym. Look, I was pretty confident, and honestly, how hard could it be? Alright. Let's see if we can clear this gym. I mean, we should be able to clear it. There should not be anything in this that could pose any threat. What? You are more than enough for you. Uh, the confidence. The level of confidence. Oh, let's see it. What do you got? Wow, you actually managed to survive. And you use that. You use the golden shower. That's all you did. Oh, well. Where was that confidence coming from? You overwhelm me. Why are you acting like it was a surprise? All right, Misty. Again, this should be a sweep. Yep. One down, one more to go. Now this star me might be a little, yeah, it is, it is high level. So we'll put it to sleep. Oh, I missed. Yeah, just put it down. Oh, uh, I don't like that. We could go for another one. Don't crit. Ooh, okay. Oh, oh, whoa. Okay. I don't know why I played that so risky. I should have just switched to the rat. I mean, it worked, but that was sketchy. I don't know why I didn't switch. Well, I almost lost one of my Pokemon. All right, time for the rival. Now the rat should be more than enough of this. Should just be able to sweep it. We'll see. Is it gonna be a one shot? Oh, close. That does so much damage, man. All right, one down. <laughs> oh man, I think my rat's a little bit better. The next will be the Abra that doesn't have any damaging moves. Oh no, it's a Charmander. Okay. This should be weak because it's not evolved. Yep. Now the Abra doesn't have anything. And it should be pretty weak. It is. Well, that was something. A for effort. So, after I cleared out all the bridge trolls with my Roid Rage Rat and avoided getting indoctrinated into a cult, it was time that I got another Pokemon. Now I had chosen Route 24. It had a few bugs, a plant, and more importantly, something that could fly or something that could teleport. Now, honestly, 
I really wasn't expecting much. If I got a bird, I would have been over the moon. And Abra would have also been pretty good, even if I couldn't get Alakazam. Too bad finding one is hard, and of course, it can teleport. So, like I said, I would have been happy with the bird. Oh! A shiny! Whoa, I did not expect this. Uh, okay, shiny Abra. I need that. How are we gonna catch this? Should I put it to sleep? Yeah, I guess so. Please go to sleep, please go to sleep. Yes! Oh my god, I might actually be able to catch this thing. Hopefully it doesn't break the sleep. I've got to maybe have a few chances at this. Please go on the Pokeball. Come on. Just do it. I would love an Abra. Come on. No! Come on, stay. Yes! Still sleep. We got another chance. Come on, come on, come on. Go on the Pokeball. What? Are you kidding me? And it's... It's still asleep. Okay. Come on. I probably don't have that many more chances. Go on the Pokeball. Please. Alright, come on. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yes. Yes. What? Oh, and it woke up. Oh. You little sh**. So, after I took a week off to recover from that catastrophe, I helped Bill with whatever that is and headed straight for the boat. Now, lucky for me, the boat is filled with a bunch of rich assholes who throw out perfectly good items. Just make sure you don't walk into the wrong room and immediately regret that decision. Now, before I took on the rival, I made sure to roid up my rat once again. So I headed to the Great Outback to find the most venomous snake I could find. Once I got poisoned, I made my way back to the rival just before my rat's last support was cut off and made sure to heal it. Needless to say, it was a pretty close battle. So, after I gave the captain the uh, good old rub, I received cut and waved goodbye to the SSN. Now, usually, I would have just headed straight for the third gym to collect the badge, but something really hit me. I needed another Pokemon, because I was getting to the point where these two were soaking up all the XP, and the lack of variety had gotten very stale. So, before I took on the next gym, I needed to solve that problem first. So instead, I headed for the Dark Cave. Now, since I couldn't get Flash, because, well, getting 10 Pokemon with this rule would probably take 3,000 hours, so I had to do it the good old fashioned way. Right, let's make it through this cave with as little battles as possible. Now we can probably use a repel and get rid of um wild Pokemon, but again the trainers, I don't know where they are. Oh come on! Typical. Oh well. Hopefully we don't get too many battles. Oh I Damn it! What? They're everywhere! I hate this. Okay, stick the wall. Oh, and it... Oh, okay, I'm over this. I hate this place. This is so sketchy. I don't... This is so sketchy. Oh, oh. Everything is against me right now. I swear, I could lose something in here. Am I close the f***ing exit? Yes, about time! Okay. Thank God. Almost lost my rat a few times in there. You mother Are you kidding me? Let me out of this place, please! So, after I got the tea and used it to bribe the guards, I gained access to a large portion of the map. Which meant, it was time to catch my next Pokemon. Now the one I was going for was a Growlithe. It's a decent fire type, and if I was lucky, it could also have Intimidate, which is by far one of the best abilities in the game. Now there's only two locations that I had access to that had them, one better than the other. So I went with Route 7 first. The idea behind this was if I caught something else, I could try again in the other area with a higher percent chance. And if I encountered the same Pokemon I caught, 
I could enact duplicate cores and give myself another try. Now personally, I would have been happy with either of these two, because I was still looking for something that could fly. Because truth be told, without it, it's kind of like driving a car without any wheels, but after all that time, I didn't get the dog or the bird. No, I got the f***ing cat. And this thing just straight up sucks. I don't like it, no one likes it, but I caught it anyway because I might as well. Now, I was kind of glad I did, because in the next area, I found another one. And the only concession I get for the hundreds of hours down the drain is that I get to try again. Luckily, on my third attempt, I actually managed to find a Growlithe. And man, I caught it, named it, and it didn't have Intimidate. So that alone knocked it down a few tiers, but hey, at least you couldn't say the game doesn't have a sense of humor. Now even though catching that Growlithe was as fun as passing a kidney stone, my bladder was ready for round two. Because I wasn't done just getting one new Pokemon, oh no, I wanted to get two. See, since I still didn't have a Pokemon that could fly, I had to take matters into my own hands. I needed something that can learn it, and it had to be a sure thing, as my sanity wasn't ready for another round of punishment. So, I decided to get myself a Dratini, because eventually, it can evolve into Dragonite, which can not only learn fly, but it's also pretty damn good, if it lasts long enough to get to that point. Now, as we all know, you can get a Dratini at the prize corner for 2,800 coins. Now that's a lot, but it's definitely doable. But here's the thing, I didn't just want a Dratini. Oh no, I also wanted all of this. So, in total, that came to around 14,300 coins, so how the hell was I going to get that kind of cash? Collect it off the ground? Buy it? Use a game shark while no one's looking? No, I have something a little bit better. I'm actually going to use this method here from Charizard Dude back in 2008. It details that there is a specific slot machine that has a higher percent chance of hitting jackpots than all the others, which in theory can also be backed up by what this lady says. Not all these machines have the same odds. Now, the machine in question is this one right here, and from personal experience, it works pretty well, but it can go through periods of hitting big and then flatlining for a while. But as long as you're willing to sit through the ups and downs, you should find success. Come on, give me this, give me the sevens, come on, yes! This is the most coins I've ever had, like ever. Imagine if I just bought a Porygon right now. I mean, I could, I'm not going to, but I could. Oh, I guess the house takes the rest. Typical, no, oh, whatever. Let's go buy those items. Oh, well, I'll take, um, take a few of these. Give this to you, and give this to you. Oh man, this is just gonna eat all my coins. Oh, there it goes. So how much more do I need? Was it like 7,000 more? No, I need 7,000 coins. Oh well, guess I'm back to it. Come on, yes, thank God. Even with the speed up, this takes so long. <sighs> I am not looking forward to this. Huh? What choice do I have? Just imagine if the first Dratini I got was shiny. Just do it. Just let me see it. Imagine. And shiny. This is gonna take forever. Yes! Yes! Finally! Man, that took forever! Shiny Giratini, let's go. Alright. Let's name it. Uh, what name do I want to do? I haven't even thought about it. Yo, I'll name you Worm. Because you kind of look like a worm. I'd say it's pretty fitting. Probably should have done this earlier, but whatever. Finally got around to doing it. My Ivy Saw now actually has a name. And not A. Oh man, PTSD. Wait. What was the chances? Oh, come. That would have been. Perfect. I can never find this thing. 
Oh, man. You know what? What should be the last one? It'd be this one. What? There's no way. Is it? Are you? There's no way it's going to be the last one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're joking. Oh, no. I, I misclicked. Oh, no. Now I have to find it again. Yes. Down. Yes. That time. Okay, let's just beat this guy and get the hell out of this place. I hate this place. This may actually be the only time where a Dratini's like decent. Whoa. Just a crappy move like that can do so much. I mean, Dratini is weak. It is so weak. Like, even Dragonair is weak. Dragonite, though, very good. But, oh man, you gotta really trudge through the slums. This should do nothing. What was it, crits? Ooh. Thank God it didn't crit. I feel like I'm playing way too risky. Oh man, I wish I had a Pokemon that could fly. Let's go straight to the fourth gym. I mean, I might as well. This guy. Buddy, can you not make it any less obvious? You know what? You know what I might do? I could power level Mohawk to level 31, get Flame Wheel, and then use a Firestone on him. I mean, I could. Oh, one more. This should be it. Level 31. Now, I'm positive you get Flame Wheel on this level. Yep, you do. All right, cool. This should be more than enough for the gym leader. I will be shocked, truly shocked, if a single one of her Pokemon can live a single attack. Yep, I do not see this going either way. Oh man, maybe I'm a little bit too leveled. I think I made it too easy for myself. Let's see. Nah, couldn't handle it. I mean, again, that's, this is not a surprise. Oh, uh, fourth gym down. All right, so what should I do now? You know what? I might pick up Fly, even though I can't use it. Might as well get the bike to move around quicker. And then after that, might as well just do the rocket hideout. Yep, sounds good. Man, it is so depressing not having a Pokemon that can fly. Yes, yes, buddy. I don't want to listen to this long ass story. Just give me the bike. Now, oh, well, this will make things slightly better. So now we should go to the, um, to the rocket hideout. I don't think Giovanni's a big threat, right? He's just ground. No, I think he should be right. Hey, buddy. Time to clear you out. Ugh, I don't like that. Ooh, I don't like that. Ah, it's just so weak. Dratini can't handle anything. Look at that! Look at that! Damage from a level 21! Dratini is trash! Yeah, just evolve. I know Dragonair ain't that much better, honestly. But really, it's better than nothing. So I still got... How many levels to go? 25. Oh man, this is gonna be brutal. If he doesn't die in that time. Ah, time for Giovanni. Onyx, once again, trash. It's got like no damage. It's lower level. Should be one shot. Yep, one down. What's his last Pokemon again? Is it like a like a Nidor Queen or something? Oh, that's right. It's a Kangaskhan. Uh, don't like that. Could he has a Kangaskhan? Because it's normal type. I just didn't think. Oh, well, to sleep. Yep, it's pretty much over. Let's see how much this does. Uh. Ah, uh, not a big fan of that. <gasps> Yo! Oh. Dude. Whoa. That wasn't even a crit. Holy shit. That was really sketchy. Like, very sketchy. Come with the Kangaskhan. Yeah, I'm not taking any chances. That was really bad. Like, that was really, really, really bad. I thought it was just going to be a sweep. 
But I completely forgot he had a Kangaskhan. Alright. Um, it's heart attack over. Let's uh go to the Pokemon Tower. Now the rival should be pretty easy still. Oh, that's yeah, we're not staying in for that. Oh. Oh well. I was pretty lucky. Let's get that flute. Oh, ah. Uh. Yo! Whoa. Ah, uh, I almost just lost my Ivysaur again. Holy shit. This has happened like multiple times now. I feel like I'm gonna lose something. I just didn't think that it would do so much to an Ivysaur. Eight health. Damn. Yeah, I guess I need to evolve it. Alright. Now, this should give me better defenses. Which I desperately need because, man, I've almost lost my Ivysaur three times to Giovanni, the rival, and that fucking uh, self destruct. Alright, so now that we have the flute, I think it's about time I catch my favorite Pokemon. The overweight Narcoleptic himself. Alright, time to grind. Is it that shiny, right? Yeah, yeah, that is definitely shiny. Well, it looks so similar to the normal one. All right, let's catch it. Oh god, you missed, really? Whoa, damn! I'm out here trying to catch this thing, and it's probably gonna like KO me. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess worm. I think we'll um. Thunder Wave, then Dragon Rage. Okay, good. Hopefully he gets paralyzed and stuff with his moves. Ah, yes, there we go. I only use rest. Really? Oh well, I guess he's asleep. If he's if he's still asleep, this should be enough. Oh, and there's the snore. Still does so much damage. Okay, please go on the Pokeball. We'll use a Great Ball. I ain't taking any chances. Just go in there. Don't let this be another Abra situation. Yes. Yes. All right, good. Wait, is this gonna, f oh, it's not gonna fit. I can't put the W. Uh. Ah, screw it. He can be Marshmallow without a W. So now, I technically have two normal types, and I don't really need two normal types, so... I think it's gonna be really unfortunate to say, but... I don't really need Lyle anymore. Because, let's be real, the Snorlax is way better. So, I think we're gonna have to say goodbye to Lyle. That is depressing. Lyle has done so much, but... Oh man, it's sad to get rid of Lyle. Though, if, um, any of my Pokémon faint, I still have her. So... After all that, it was time for the boring part, so I'll summarize it real quick. I got pretty low a couple of times fighting all the skinheads along the bike road. I wiped out every single trainer along here for XP. I collected the super rod from this guy and used it to level my Venusaur, which went pretty well. But then it was time for Koga. Now this guy, you gotta watch out for, and maybe not for the reasons you might think. See, his coughings are like two Lego blocks you don't want to step on. They both have self-destruct and very little will to live. Then there's his Mach, which can stall the fight with Minimize and Acid Armor. Oh, and uh, funny enough, his whizzing is kind of just there. I mean, I think it might have something to do with the fact that his self-destruct was replaced by Tackle, which fun fact is the opposite of Gen 1. But after that, I collected Surf, and it was time to get my hands on a water Pokemon. Now, as I've stated before, there are so many good water types, especially in leaf green. So this is really one of those, you can't go wrong in your spool for choice kind of situations. Now the Pokemon I landed on was Lapras, and I picked it for a couple of reasons. For starters, it's freaking Lapras. I mean, look at it. Also, it has really good stats. It's a 100% guarantee I'll get one. And most importantly, it's like one of the only good ice types like ever. Now the only thing standing in my way was the rival, 
but it was no big deal. I only almost lost two of my Pokemon, which I know was like half my team, but not anymore as I was about to get my brand new Lapras after a few thousand resets. But eventually, I got myself a shiny pink Lapras that I named Lady. But now, I finally had a Pokemon that could surf. So I didn't waste any time and headed straight towards the power plant to get my last Pokemon. Now, I had a few options, but I landed on Magnemite because not only is it electric, but it's also steel. And man, look at that natural immunity. I swear, Magnemite is the kind of Pokemon that could swim through sewage with open wounds and not contract anything. Now, it didn't take me long until I ran into a little problem that I didn't really see coming. It appeared that the wild Pokemon had attachment issues and didn't really want to let me go. I would constantly spam that runaway button only for them to turn around and tell me no. So that was a problem that needed fixing. Now in times like these, there's really only one thing I can fall back on, gambling. Ah, should be good. Let's get the um, smoke ball. This should solve my problems. Oh, crisis averted. Now oh, yeah, let's uh, walk all the way back. <laughs> yes! Yes! Got a Magnemite, yes! Let's go. Magnemite is so good because it's literally just because it's steel. Once again, not taking any chances, just gonna use an Ultra Ball. This will go in, 100%. Oh well, there we go. That is my entire team done. Ah, uh, for the name, hmm. You know, what? I have a name. I'm gonna name it Chrome. So how much is Thunderbolt again? Ah, uh, twenty-four. Four thousand. So I'm gonna need eight thousand coins. Man, that sucks. This is gonna be the last time I had to do this, right? Because the amount of time I've sunk into this place. How oh, on? Well. Back to it again. Oh, we just... We're gonna have one coin left over. So expensive, but... Very, very good. Yeah, this TM is gonna be a necessity of Magnemite. I mean, it's pretty much like one of the best electric moves and the fact that he can't learn it is ridiculous. But like I said before, we're also going to give it to Lady because it's going to be really good against Lance's Gyarados. Okay, hopefully this time... Giovanni's scary-ass Kangaskhan doesn't like wipe out one of my Pokemon. He shouldn't. I do have a lot more defense this time. And I feel like sooner or later I'm going to lose something. I just, I get that feeling. No, oh, there it is. Oh man, I... No. No. Ah... Uh, yeah, no. The redemption? You wanna see it? Uh -huh. Let's see. Rage. Bah. Whoa! Crit? Awesome! Oh, here we go. As long as it's not a crit, it should be fine. <gasps> and it was a crit? What? This Kangas Khan is insane literally crazy like if it was the same level as me it would have just wiped me out holy sh sketchy i don't know why i play like that but i mean you gotta keep it interesting oh thanks for the master ball i'm gonna throw that in the trash because we don't use those here so now it is time for the next gym oh man i hate this already this just sucks you know what? Don't be like me. Let me just throw up on screen the direct path to the leader. Like there, boom, follow that. Don't be like me. Yes, yeah, about time, holy sh Oh, like that, because it is quick. It is the same level as me and it's faster than Mohawk. Whoa, that is a lot of damage. Oh, why did I just use enough flamethrower? Shit. Now, even though he's gonna heal next round, I have Marshmallow, and Marshmallow has Shadow Ball, which if you didn't know, since this is Gen 3, the physical special split hadn't been invented, so all Ghost-type moves count as physical. So this should just go straight through his calm minds. 
Let's see. This should do a lot of damage. Wow, it even takes him out. Yeah, it's super good. That's that badge down. Only two more to go. Now look, I was at my breaking point and couldn't take it any longer. I need to fly now. Not tomorrow or the next day. Now. So what I need to do is level my Dragonair until I evolved it. And I guess f*** me because Dragonite is one of the highest level requirements in the entire series. Thankfully, I did find a farming spot that had some pretty decent XP. It's this place right here below Palatown. And as it turns out, the ecosystem is entirely run by Tanglers. So since they didn't have any natural predators, they were incredibly easy to wipe out. Plus, if I ever wanted to heal, I could just head home, rinse and repeat. So it took a while, but I leveled my Dragonair to level 53. And quite honestly, that's all I was willing to do. So for the last two levels, I used a few performance enhancers and finally got my Dragonite. So awesome. Great. I never had to walk again. Now it was around this time when I was leveling my Snorlax, did I learn something pretty interesting. In fact, it was a move that I didn't actually know existed. Covet. Apparently, it's a move that's basically like a bootleg thief, and under normal circumstances, it would be absolute trash. But it did get me thinking. See, when it comes to Leaf Green and Fire Red, held items are harder to find than sex offenders. Keep in mind that the three you get from the prize corner are basically the easiest ones you can get. Hell, not even the Snorlaxes in this game are holding leftovers. Instead, you need the item finder in order to get them, which is pretty much impossible for me because, well, that. But it doesn't end just there because I also have a Meowth with pickup, which if you didn't know, has a 10% chance of generating a held item after battle. And let's just take a look at the items that you can get from Emerald onwards, Choice Band, Bright Powder, Leftovers, Focus Band, you name it. Even in Ruby and Sapphire, where you have the smallest item pool, you can still at least get a King's Rock. But in Leaf Green Fire Red, you get this. Now to go full circle, there is technically another way to get a few decent held items. See, there's a few wild Pokemon that have a very low percent chance of holding one. And since I was doing a Nuzlocke and I could only catch Shinies, the chance of me finding said Pokemon that was a Shiny and had the held item on them was next to impossible. But here's the thing, I didn't need to catch them. I could just steal their items. And well, that's what I did. So the first item I wanted was a Sharp Beak. This was gonna give my Dragonite's flying moves a slight increase. It wasn't much, but it was something. Now you can get the beaks from the Fearows near Cycling Road. Now there is only a 5% chance of getting it, so it can take a little bit of time. Then again, comparing that to collecting shinies, this was almost enjoyable. Now the beak wasn't the only item I was gonna get. I also wanted to get a magnet for chrome. Now it probably doesn't surprise anyone that the magnetons at the power plant are the ones who have them. And once again, it's not a massive increase. But it's also kind of funny that they buffed it in later generations. All right, we can get the key. And we can also get solar beam, even though I'm not gonna ever use it because I hate charge up moves. I think they're pretty garbage. The same kind of level are not a den. Ah, uh, no. Oh no, yes. Yeah, there is some tricky wording in that. But yes, it's they are not identical. Is this the last one? All right, let's see what it is. Tombs, I don't think that's a move. Tombstony. What? I don't think that's a move, yeah. Is that a move? No. Rapidash. This Oh, off. Oh. Whew, that was lucky. This should take it down. Probably. Yes, it does. Damn. An Arcanine. Let's, oh, it is high level. Okay. Uh, it could crit. Oh, and it lives. But we can use, it's going to use a potion so we can use Surf again. And it, it, if we get a crit, we can wipe it out. So we might as well. Imagine if it didn't and it just crit me. I would be depressed. Now this could crit. Come on, crit. Nah, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Better play it safe. Pretty sure he can tank a few hits. And use another hyper potion. Okay. Oh, use the full, I thought he was gonna use a full restore. Oh, that's good. That should be him down. 
Yeah, there we go. Only one more batch to go. Wow, alright. And we still haven't lost a Pokemon. Do I feel like it's coming though? No. Wait, what? Oh, that's right. Leaf and Fire Red have this the weird island thing. If I wait, if I go with him, do I have to go on like a little side mission that I can't like back out of? I can't remember. Oh, there she is. About time. Scary Pokemon. What? Go away and you're scaring me. It can't be that bad. Holy shit. I take it back. That is terrifying. Okay, finally. Let's get to this gym. Beat it. And take on the league. Demolishes them. Huh, fighting type. That's interesting. This is a ground type gym. What? What? Dude! Holy shit! I need to stop fast forwarding. Now, I think I'm correct in saying that he doesn't have a Kangaskhan anymore. Which, if that's the case, this is just, I don't know, free? No, there's the Nidor King. What's his last Pokemon? Is it a Kangaskhan? Yeah, it just wipes everything. I don't know what his last Pokemon is. A Dark Trio. Oh wow, it's actually faster than me. But it does nothing. Classic. Well, that was depressing. That was over in uh, two seconds. But that is it. That is every single badge down. So now, what is it? The Rival, one more time, and then the Leak. Now this should be pretty easy. I think the Rival as a champion is tricky, but this one, this specific fight, I don't think it's too bad. <laughs> Ice Beam, wasn't even gonna use it. Lady's got really good special defense, so I doubt this is, yeah, does nothing. Ah, uh, which one's the good one? That's a good, qu I mean, I'm gonna come back and get them both, but Let's go with the top one. Dragon Claw, yes! That is super good. We are going to teach that to Worm. That is a much better move than Twister. Twister is garbage. Are we close? Do we have to fight this guy? No, we don't have to fight him. All right, cool. We made it. Here we go. The Indigo Plateau. But now that I finally made it to the league, there's really only one more thing that I need to do before I took on the challenge. I needed to maximize my team. So first, I decided it was time to get the rest of the held items. So I taught Thief to Mohawk and headed for the Pokemon Tower. While I was there, I desecrated the dead by ripping the spell tag out of the Haunter's cold dead hands. This was going to give my Snorlax's Shadow Ball a boost against Agatha. Next, I wanted to get my hands on a Focus Band. Now this you can get from the Machokes at Victory Road, but that's when I found out the hard way, that wasn't such a good idea. Ironically, I almost died trying to get the thing that can prevent death. Now the last item I wanted to get was a Nevermelt Ice. This I was going to get from the Dugons at Seafoam Island, and it was going to give my Lapras's Ice Beam a buff against Lance's Dragons, but I just had to say it. This farm is a real ball breaker, because the Dugons also have berries on them, so there's nothing better than thinking that it's all over only for it to lead into disappointment. But with that, the last thing I had to do was level my Pokemon, which is definitely as fun as it sounds. Also, I might have uh, went a little bit overboard, but at that point I spent too much time only to fail at the very end, so I wasn't taking any chances. All right, here it is. There's no backing out now. This is the team, looking pretty good. I think for Lorelei, even though she's the like ice type, Elite Four, all her Pokemon are water type, so there's no point going Mohawk. You might as well just go Chrome. This makes no sense, but whatever. Chrome should be very good against this. Let's see. What's next? Lapras. Ooh, Lapras might survive it. We'll go for two hits on this one. Yeah, so much health. Oh, 
it would have gotten taken down with a Thunderbolt. God, that is super unlucky. That sucks. Maybe she's going to heal it? Oh, maybe not. She might not. Oh, she didn't. All right. Yep, she's got one. What is it again? It's a Jinx. Jinx isn't water type, so Jinx will be able to take two hits. Yeah, Jinx is... Oh, is that confusion? Yeah. No, it's sleep. Uh, let's wait it out. See what she can do. Not too bad. Ah, still asleep. She's like whittling me down. Oh, and I'm still asleep. Come on. Okay, this is... You're still asleep? Holy shit. Okay. We need to switch out. This is just ridiculous. No, it's Ice Psychic. That's right. Alright. First Elite Four down. Three more to go. This should be easy. This should be an absolute sweep. I don't think he has a single thing that could pose a threat. Again, Onyx. Incredibly weak. So we'll use uh, Earthquake. Yep. Oh, and a crit. All right. We'll take it. That's one down. Aerial Ace will be more than enough. Yep. It should take out every single one of his fighting types. Machamp. Yeah, should. This should do a lot. Oh, I'd live with one. Rock Tomb. Oh, actually, that's scary. Oh, it was a crit. All right, so he's going to use heal next round, so I might as well just use Fly, because Fly has 10 more damage than Aerial Ace, and Aerial Ace did that much. There is no way this doesn't kill him. So we got this. What? Th this better not crit. This better not crit. Oh. Are you f***ing kidding me? It was a crit? How did that fly not kill him? Well... I just lost... Debatably my most powerful Pokemon. Damn. So that's the thing, you could lose a Pokemon to anything at any time. It doesn't matter, you gotta play smart. Isn't Mega Kick like only 80% accuracy? Why the f*** does he keep hitting it? Might as well just use an overheat. I don't think I'm going to use it much. Well, damn. I honestly thought that was going to be a sweep. And I lost my Dragonite. That is very bad. That is very bad. Alright, whatever. Anyway, Agatha. Now, the good thing about Agatha is that she has both poison and ghost types. And my Snorlax is immune to poison and he has Shadow Ball for the ghost types. So this is pretty much a win-win. Like, watch this. This is- oh. That sucks, but... If I manage to, um, hit this, this will do tons of damage. Yep. And Screech. What is that? Defense? Ooh, I don't like that. So my attack and my defense is down. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I might switch out. I'll also do Chrome. There we go. I just need to find an opportunity to switch back into Marshmallow. Oh, yeah, it's Haunter. Uh, we'll take it down. Because this is a weak one. Will this be enough? Should be. Yep, it is. Hypnosis. Oh, does this Pokemon have Dream Eater? I think it does. Yeah, I think we'll switch out. Wow, it live with one out. Come on, give me a crit. Or a good roll. Come on, do it. Let's see it. Yes, a crit. Lucky me. All right. That's Agatha down, so now we just have Lance. Now, Lance... Should be pretty easy because Lapras, you know, we'll swap um 
Thank God I remembered. We'll swap Lapras's Mystic Water with Nevermelt Ice. Now, the first Pokemon he has is going to be a Gyarados, which, again, Lady has Thunderbolt. But I think we're all good. All right. Here we go. Really, Dragon Rage? That's a very odd choice. Yep. There we go. And there's the next Pokemon. It's going to be a Dragonair, right? Oh, Aerodactyl. Forgot about Aerodactyl. Oh, Ice Beam. I was going to use Surf. But Ice Beam will be... Oh, that is super effective. Ice Beam will be buffed by Nevermelt Ice. Let's see how much this does. Yes! Dragonair. We already know. They're weak as shit. And he has two of them, I think. Yeah, they're just weak. Very, very weak. And the good thing about Dragonite is that it has a four times weakness to ice because it is dragon flying. So this might one shot him, maybe. And it does. Holy crap, lady, you are so good. All right, here we are. We're locked in now, so we're gonna be very careful. So, Pidgeot first, against Chrome. Chrome should have this. <laughs> Chrome is even faster. This should be one shot. Yep, okay. Now, he might change into Charizard here. He does, okay. We'll swap him out to Lady. Yeah, might as well just use Surf. Get rid of, get rid of Charizard. Fire Blast, ooh, it missed. That's good. It missed again, that is unfortunate. I don't think this will one shot him. Nah, didn't, all right. The next one should take him out. He withdrew. Wow, he shat his pants. All right. And he went into Executor. Well, I think Executor is weak to ice. So, so yeah. I don't think that was a good switch in. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that was a very good switch in. Is he going to switch back to Charizard? No, he'll switch to... He'll probably switch to Alakazam. No Rhydon. What a very bad decision. This is just going to get one shot. Yep. Oh, well, Lady's picking up all the pieces, I guess. Now it's going to be Alakazam. Yep. Okay. Future Sight. That is concerning. Shadow Ball. This should be a one shot. It is. All right, good. What's his second last Pokemon? It's a... I don't know. Oh, Gyarados, of course. Ah, oh, yeah. Hopefully this doesn't do too much. Thrash is so unbelievably scary and unpredictable. But we'll switch to Chrome. So here we use Thrash, but since I'm Steel, won't do too much. And then now I can use the four times weakness against it. Even if I could have set up for Charizard the next round, I want to play it safe. Now it's going to be Charizard. What do we want to do? Should we just switch Lady back in? What if he, she gets hit by Fire Blast? Should we just try it? She is full health. Screw it. Let's just see it. If I can get a Surf off, it's a Fire Blast. Okay, she should be able to survive this. It does less than half. Okay, so if I use Surf... Okay, this just needs to not crit. Let's see it. Yes! That's it. Lady for the win. She is so good. There we go. Oh, man. That took too long. That is the longest thing I've ever had to do. That was stressful. And it's over.
So, that had to be one of the uh, most time consuming things I've ever done. I mean, sh I even maxed out the game time. Now, it may not seem like it, but I was collecting those shinies on and off for months. So I will most likely never do anything like that ever again. But before I end this, which Pokemon do I think did the best job? I think out of everyone, I would probably have to give it to Lady. Runner up though, would probably be Mohawk. But if I could also give an MVP, that I honestly might give to Lyle. She did a lot of work in the early game. But that's it. Would I recommend this? Hell no, f no.